Hello friends, hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel that is Rathor Science Academy. Okay, so today we will again discuss an important topic of CBSE 10th class science. Guess what? What? Human brain. Yes, structure of human brain. And it is an interesting topic too. By this video, you are able to know about your own brain. Okay? Okay. So guys, we perform so many activities in our daily life, right? Listening music, riding bicycle, right? And watching movie and all other things, right? That uh, all activity is performed by our different body organ. Yes? So the question arises, is there any part which control, command or monitor all these activity? The answer is? Yes, yes, our brain is that important part which control, command, all these activities, monitor all these activities which performed by different body parts. Okay, and also it provides the information to them and it receives the information from them. Okay, so let us discuss in detail. If we will talk about human brain, if we will talk about weight, it is about 1.5 kg in weight. Yes. A little bit of our total body weight. That is 1.5 kg. That is the weight of our brain. Okay. And if we will talk about structure. So it's, it's sad that it is like walnut shape. Walnut Accrued. Accrued ki jaisa jo hai aapka brain hota hai. Right? It has two hemispheres like this. Okay? Right? Left. Like this. And if we will trans, uh, do transverse action, we will break them like this. So we can see the structure of our brain is like this. Okay? Now let us discuss about what exactly brain is and where it is present. Okay? Our brain is present as you know at the top of the body, top of the body that means in your beneath your skull, skull, hopri, right? So like this is your skull and huh? beneath of your skull what is present? Your brain is present. So as I said beneath the skull your brain is present. So outermost layer, the outermost layer of brain is known as what? Manages. Manages this manages this layer. The outermost layer of brain is known as manages, right? What it does, it is basically made up of tissues and it separates the skull from brain, right? Upper side skull is present, so it separates the skull from the brain. This layer of tissue which we call manages, right? And if we see the inner structure of brain. That means if we have interest to see what is inside our brain, right? So we can see the three parts of brain. Three parts of brain. First is forebrain, second is midbrain, and third is hindbrain. Forebrain, you are able to see. I have made today's color food, right? So this color food greeny uh, part, greeny part, which is totally green in color, is known as forebrain. Forebrain. What forebrain does? See, it is the largest part of brain. You can able easily able to identify, right? And all the intelligence work, all the thinking, planning, action, all the activities of planning, thinking, consciousness, right? Secretion, hormone secretion, right? That comes uh, under comes from your Four brain that is performed by your four brain it is it perform all voluntary action voluntary what is voluntary voluntary that action is in your control right control that means which are in your under control if you want to do it you will do if you don't want to do it you will not do like that you want to walk you will walk you want to talk, you will talk. You want to listen music, you will listen it. You want to watch movie, you will watch it. Right? 
it is in your control if you want to do it you will do if you don't want to do it you will not do so all that voluntary function voluntary functions are performed by which part of brain four brain and one more interesting thing about four brain that is has been said this four if you are able to see this four which are present totally present in your four brain right these folds the person who has maximum number of four it has been said that it is more or he is more intelligent right why it is so the basic idea is if folds are larger in number right so maximum number of neuron is present inside it maximum number of neuron will occupy the space right and if maximum number of neurons are there the person will be more intelligent okay so it depend on your four brain folds of four brain and if you talk about in detail of four brain the four brain also having three parts you have to remember the name of all the parts okay and it will be easier if you watch one or two times right first one this greenish part this folded greenish part as we have discussed this folded greenish part right this folds are known as cerebrum what cerebrum cerebrum right what is the function of cerebrum your knowledge how much knowledgeable you are right your consciousness how much conscious you are all that monitored by this part of this folds of brain that is known as cerebrum okay thinking whatever you are think that is controlled by cerebrum if we will talk about the another part that means the second sub part of four brain right second sub part that is thalamus this one this one is thalamus if you are able to see i will draw some portion so you can identify easily this portion this portion is known as thalamus thalamus what is the function of thalamus thalamus basically does all uh, providing all impulses that is sensory and motor impulses to the brain only this function of uh, thalamus that it provide the sensory and motor impulses to the brain that means work as information collector right and beneath the thalamus one more part you are able to see that's why i will rub it little bit this part which is present beneath the thalamus this part of brain is known as hypothalamus beneath the thalamus hypo means niche hypothalamus right what i said four brain has three parts cerebrum thalamus hypothalamus hypothalamus is the part of brain very interesting part of brain and you have to remember important too what it does see we will perform an activity for this just pinch yourself pinch it harder what do you feel pain yes so all this feeling of pain right sadness happiness that come in this part of brain this part of brain which is hypothalamus right so hypothalamus controls the feelings and one more interesting things the emotions human emotions like sadness happiness love feeling of love yes feeling of love that doesn't come from your heart remember in previous video we have discussed it is it is only a pumping organ right and in this video we are discussing brain monitor all these activities so feeling and emotions emotions of love that arise only from this part of brain this part of four brain which is hypothalamus or you can say the feeling of love arise from four from four brain right not by heart and also thirst and hunger 
right you feel hungry you feel thirsty right and after having meal you will feel like now i did enough right so that feeling of fullness is come from where from this part of brain that is hypothalamus and if we will collectively discuss all these part so what is the function of forebrain it provide the intelligence it provide you the all feelings emotion thinking planning right so all this come under the four brain now we will discuss another important part of brain what is the another important part of brain after four brain what you are able to see this mid brain what is this mid brain mid brain if we will discuss the position of mid brain it is present just top of the brain stem what i said brain stem this is brain stem okay this is brain stem we will talk about this line this brain stem and at the top of brain stem this reddish part which we will call mid brain is present what mid brain does it is the small function which is done by but it is not a small okay but we can say to remember one function which is performed by bed brain is what i will give you an example then we will discuss when you flash a light right on your eyes flashing of light on your eyes what happen your pupil that blackish part okay that pupil become smaller and bright light is put on your uh, pupil it become smaller so what happen that time this work is done by what mid brain so mid brain control all visual effects right and all auditory reflexes all visual and auditory reflexes are controlled by what which part of brain mid brain okay so here four brain we have discussed mid brain we have discussed third part of brain is what what yes hind brain the last part and most important part right and here you will find one more important i will tell you which parts are more important and frequently asked right so another important part that is hind brain the third part of brain this was second part and this was third part of brain which is hind brain so if you are able to see hind brain here you will find this flower kind of a structure right you should not try it like flower okay just i'm saying you that this kind of a structure this smallest part is known as cerebrum or you can say the second largest part of brain that is hind brain and the part of hind brain that is cerebellum don't be confused about this cerebrum okay and this sare bellum sare bellum both are different in function okay and also both are the part of different now uh, part of brain right see so many time it has been asked to differentiate between cerebrum and cerebellum cerebellum okay so you have to remember this cerebellum does the function of balance balance right whatever we balance balancing to ride bicycle balancing in our walking right holding something that is done by cerebellum the part of hind brain i will give you one or two example by this you will not be confused about cerebrum and cerebellum first of all i will tell you cerebrum was the part of four brain and cerebellum is the part of hind brain cerebrum cerebrum does the function of thinking consciousness right all voluntary actions right and cerebellum it does only one function to balance the things right so i will give you one example for this let us remind when we start to first riding bicycle 
right? First, first we are learning. So learning is key under paragraph. First we start to learn how to like balance the bicycle, how to ride the bicycle, how does the paddle work, right? First of all, we have to learn how to ride the bicycle. And after doing enough practice, you have done enough practice, right? Then it comes under our motor memory. Motor? Motor memory. That means it is feeded in your memory, right? So what happened in that case? Now you have learned, you have done enough practice. Now here your sari doesn't work. Now if you are going after this enough practice, it becomes your second habit. Now you are easily move here and there with your bicycle. You don't uh, even you never need to focus or think or to be much much conscious about it, right? That means you have learned it. So now the work of sari balance comes. The sari balance balance it, right? For example, first you start to typing something, right? You are learning in the in this work. So when, once you are learning that typing, your cerebrum was active. After doing enough practice, now what you will do? The monitor is in front of you and you are typing like this. Okay? Frequently. You are not even see the keyboard. Right? That means what? It becomes your motor memory. It is feeded in your memory. It is your second habit. Right? The balancing work is done by what? Cerebrum all postures right your walking habit that means you walk balancedly right you are riding bicycle balancedly right you are holding something balancedly that is done by sare balance and one more funny fact about this what is that see if you have seen the people those who become intoxicated intoxicated that means those who consume alcohol right the people, those who consume alcohol, right, after having that, they are unable to balance themselves. They walk something like funny, right? They can't walk properly. Even it has been said, don't drink and drive, right? Because what? Because your cerebellum has got affected. And if your cerebellum has got affected, your motor memory get affected. And if your motor memory get affected, you are unable to balance the thing, right? And if you are unable to balance the thing, you are unable to ride bicycle that you already have learned. That is in your daily routine. You are unable to walk, which is your daily routine, right? After consuming uh, alcohol, that cerebellum get affected. So you walk funny, right? So by this you can remember it is the part of brain which balances the body, right? All balancing work is done by cerebellum and cerebellum is present where this full kind of a structure, flower kind of a structure in the hind brain, right? So cerebellum is the first part of hind brain. If we will talk about another part that is pons, pons, funny name, P-O-N-E-S, pons. Right, these bones, what they does, they have two important function. First one is respiration. Respiration. That means regulation and respiration, proper breathing is done by bones. That means it monitors your proper breathing. Right? And another, your ear and eyes. Your ear and eyes. Uh, mutual contacts, right? Or their work is balanced or monitored by what? Ohms. Ohms, which is the part of what? Hind brain, right? And third part, which is medulla, medulla oblongata. Yes, we call it short brain or small brain, right? This medulla oblongata, which is present here. The last part of brain, which is connected towards the spinal cord also, right? From this side, this side to your back side, okay? So this medulla, what is the function of medulla oblongata? What it does is, is 
Medulla oblongata is your small brain and it, it uh, you can see, it provides the reflexes. As I said, midbrain and hindbrain, involuntary, all involuntary function is controlled by involuntary which is in, not in your control. Right? Here we have discussed about voluntary. And here, in, I am involuntary. Always remember, involuntary, right? It is not in your control. So that function is done by your mid and hind brain, right? So medulla oblongata, what is it does? Medulla oblongata, it controls all the reflexes, all the reflexes. Reflexes, right? Now you will say reflexes is controlled by our spinal cord. Not like that. Yes, reflexes are controlled by our spinal cord. But few of the reflexes like sneezing, right? Coughing, right? That is controlled by this medulla oblongata, which is the part of hind brain, okay? Here your whole structure of brain is completed. Now, what is important in this part? What you have to remember? You have to remember the three parts of brain that is forebrain, midbrain, hindbrain, right? Even some part of that forebrain, three parts, cerebrum, thalamus, hypothalamus, in which cerebrum is important and hypothalamus is important. In cerebrum, we have discussed that it is the folded part of brain, right? All thinking, consciousness work is done by what? Cerebrum, thalamus, thalamus only provide the impulses, right? Sensory and motor impulses. Hypothalamus, the important part of forebrain, right? What it does? The hypothalamus give you feelings, right? Feelings, feelings of love, happiness, right? Emotions, sadness, right? And also hungry, if you feel hungry, if you feel it is full enough, right? You have done, that is controlled by hypothalamus. This is pituitary gland. Pituitary gland is also present in forebrain, right? The P-shaped structure, which is an endocrine gland, seems to be small, but functions are not small. In detail, we will discuss in endocrine system, right? But it is master gland in previous classes you have studied, right? Then we have discussed about uh, midbrain. This pinkish, this reddish part of brain, which is present over this brain stem, right? What is the function of midbrain? To provide motor reflexes, motor and sensory impulses to the brain, right? Then we have discussed about hind brain. This is bluish, this bluish part of brain, right? What is the function of hind brain? We will talk about hind brain. The most, most, make it double star, right? The most important function of cerebellum to balance the body. We have discussed an example of the person, those who take drinks, right? Alcohol, their body get imbalanced, right? So what that time cerebellum, which is present in hind brain, is cataphracted. We have discussed about pones, which is also a part of what? Hand brain. Pones help in respiration, right? uh, monitor the respiration or breathing rate, right? And all these eyes and uh, ear coordination is monitored by what? Pones. Medulla, which is the last part but important part that control all involuntary reflexes what coughing sneezing right and this medulla oblongata move towards the spinal cord right okay so brain is also an important part of c and s central nervous system brain and spinal cord together make central nervous system so here this topic is over so what we say like and subscribe my youtube channel so we will continue with more important topic of CBSC 10th class science. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy. Love it.